Now, Mr Ed is your expert subject. Yes. Was it a favourite TV show when you were growing up? Uh, yeah, look, I always thought it was a clever show, a funny show, and it appeals to my sense of humour. Where did you first watch it? Telly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's a bit of a wind down from school, you know. And you still watch it today? Uh, occasionally, yes. And how do you get your fix? Oh, I don't know. Probably have a glass of Chardonnay while I'm watching it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about your vices. I'm, <laughs> okay, I'm saying, how, I mean, like, how do you watch it on YouTube or like what? No, no, just on the yeah YouTube, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If I'm lucky, I might get the series off my kids for Christmas. Oh, on DVD. Yeah. Streaming services exist now. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. <laughs> Have you noticed that your picture on your podium is the only one in black and white, so everyone else is in colour? Why is that? Because <laughs> it's from the olden days, like you, Cooker. <laughs> Thanks very much. Here we go. Director and producer Arthur Lubin developed Mr Ed after directing a series of films starring Francis the Talking What? Mule. <laughs> Sorry. Cooker. Mule. <laughs> I've never seen that before. You are lucky. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people do that, and then other people get it in and take it. Anyway. Just so up. excited to be here. Yeah. <laughs> in the episode titled Ed the Beneficiary, Mr Ed's owner, Wilbur, makes an appointment with his lawyer to have Ed included in what legal document? For the steal at Simon. The will. Correct. Double points to you. Yeah, here's Mr Ed asking to be the executor. Uh, I know somebody who's fair, honest and completely trustworthy. Yeah, who? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that comedy? <laughs> well, you could have a few shardies. <laughs> Maybe you don't watch Mr Ed. Maybe you have a few shardies and just watch any old show. <laughs> Despite Mr Ed being trained to imitate speech using nylon thread, actor Alan Young would tell children that the horse's lips were coated in what food? For the steal at Charmaine. Peanut butter. Correct! Double ones to you. In a 1965 episode, Mr Ed joins Wilbur and his wife Carol on their holiday to Hawaii. <whistles> Cooker. Uh, surfing. Correct! Where he is spotted by Wilbur performing what water sport? Surfing is correct. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Got him laughing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's, that is comedy. I like that. <laughs>